Hello everyone, it's Louisa, and in today's video, I am participating in a Melic Adventures collaboration, and it is the Mickey Mouse collab! Yay! If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. And if you're new around here, Hi, my name is Louisa, and I'm just a gal who tries to incorporate her childhood loves and hobbies into her adult lifestyle, and one of those loves is definitely Disney. So hello everyone, today's video is another Melic Adventures collaboration, and the theme for today's collaboration is Mickey Mouse. If you've never heard of these collaborations, Ben and Danielle over at the channel Melic Adventures will do two collabs a month, and you can do whatever you want for that collab. It could be showing your collection, it could be making a recipe, doing a craft, anything you like or anything that inspires you. And then we all share and see what everybody did. But generally it's about a movie or a character. And this particular collab at the end of February is about Mickey Mouse, the OG, the man, the myth, the mouse. Um, <laughs> so very excited to be a part of this. I am going to be showing my Mickey Mouse collection. Before I got everything together, I was like, I might not actually have that much stuff. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I definitely have stuff downstairs. Ah, but I'm not gonna go run and go grab it. So <laughs> this is my Mickey Mouse collection, but like no Christmas stuff, missing a few ear hats, anything else. Okay, so this is my Mickey Mouse collection, but with a caveat. So um, be sure to watch all of the participants in this collab. You can check out their links to their videos below. But I actually have way more Mickey stuff than I thought. So let's get on into it, shall we? So we're actually gonna start with clothing, um, which I have way more than I thought I did, but there you go. So we're gonna start with this hat. This hat was given to me by my friend Austin. I wanna say like, I think it was a graduation present back, college graduation present back in May of 2019. So I wear this all the time. And then I have, you can barely see them, they're pretty tiny, but I do have these Mickey Mouse earrings. I'm not sure what shop they're from on Etsy, but they were from a small shop and they were given to me by my brother and my sister-in-law as a gift. So that was very nice. Then we have this shirt, da, 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 sorry, dramatic standing up from the office chair. Then we have this shirt, it's just Mickey and it says Walt Disney World. And I actually got this at Cast Connection. Is it Cast Connection or Cast Connections? I never know, I think it's Cast Connection. But I got this shirt there and it was probably, I think like 99 cents or something. Maybe not, maybe like 4.99, I don't know. But still have this shirt, got it back in 2019. Then, Continuing on with the hats, I actually don't have any just Mickey themed Mickey ears, so we don't have to worry about that, but I do have two hats, this one. And then my other hat, this is um, a part of the collaboration with Make-A-Wish. Um, it's just Mickey, and it says wishes come true on the back. And I actually got this when the Disney store at the Oak Park Mall in Overland Park, Kansas closed a few years ago. So this was um, very discounted when I got it. Then I have a bunch of socks. My mom got me a 15 day uh, Mickey Mouse sock advent calendar back in 2019. There's a big theme in this video and most of the stuff I got in 2019, hey. But anyways, um, <laughs> but I still wear a lot of those pairs, and so here are just some of the pairs. I think I'm washing like two pairs right now in the load I'm doing downstairs, and then some of them just have mini, so I'm just showing you a few of the designs real quick. But here's this one. It has his autograph, and then he's just kind of peeking out the bottom there. Then we have a Mickey, kind of the different faces of him, different styles, different hats. Then we got... Mickey dancing with Minnie. So one sock is Minnie and then one sock is Mickey looking oh so dapper. Like, wow, couple goals, man. <laughs> and then this doesn't have Mickey on it, but it says a little guy with a great big heart on both socks. Uh, then Mickey waving through various uh, circles. Then Mickey just, uh, just peeking. And then last but not least, he's holding up a big top hat, looking very grand in his suit. 
So those, I have a lot of Mickey Mouse socks. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? <laughs> Next up, we have another present from a friend from right before I went on my Disney College program. And this is from my wonderful friend, Ashley. She got me this Mickey Mouse uh, sequined tank top. And it says Walt Disney World. And she gave this to me right before I left for my college program. So that's really sweet. I still have it and I love it. Then we have this Burlington find. So um, I saw this shirt and I was like, this is so me. Like this is so 90s. I'm definitely a 90s kid. And hello, it's Mickey, Donald and Goofy. And I mean, Mickey just looks so cool. Like he looks like the Fresh Prince. Um, <laughs> so I love this shirt. I think it's a really fun design. And I'm trying to remember how much it was at Burlington, maybe like $7.99 or something like that. But yeah, I love that shirt. <laughs> Next up, I believe I purchased this from Box Lunch and I think I got it on clearance, but I love this shirt. So it's just tie dyed and then it has Mickey up in the corner here and it's a long sleeve, but on the sleeves, what's super cool is it's like Mickey in various cities. So we got Mickey Paris, Mickey Venice. We have Mickey Vienna. Da, 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 da. So if it's ever cold when I go to Epcot, I would wear this shirt. But normally when I go to the Epcot, it's like summertime, so I never get to wear this shirt. Um, and then we have New York. He's like a little baseball player. Then we have Dublin. And then we have London. So I just think this shirt is really fun. I love it. It's comfy. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Box lunch, who knew? Disney merch, check it out. <laughs> and then I have this uh, Walt Disney World kind of vintage sweatshirt or um, pullover. Um, I got this for Christmas from my mom. She came down to visit December of 2019 in my program and um, she got this for me and I just love it. And it's one of my favorite clothing items. Next up we have this backpack and I got this at my very first trip to Disneyland last year. I'll have that video up in the cards, but um, I just love this style of backpack. Like don't get me wrong, lounge flies are beautiful, but they really don't hold a lot. So this is definitely my preferred backpack size and I want to say this was like $49.99 uh, at the parks, which is cheaper than some of the lounge flies. So. Um, and you get more space. So big fan of this. I like how simple it is, um, but you normally don't see um, Mickey in this style. So it's kind of a unique design, um, but I love this backpack. I love how spacious it is. Yeah. I love how spacious it is and yeah. Next we have homewares. So um, the first one is this coaster I have of Mickey. I actually got a whole set of Disney themed coasters made by Mary over at the Siskateers in a swap. And so I'll have that video linked up in the cards, but um, just thought I showed this coaster that just has Mickey. <laughs> and then also a couple years ago, my friends, when I first moved into an apartment, my friends sent me an amazing apartment warming package full of stuff that I still have. And so I'll also have that video linked up in the cards. It's awfully sweet, but I do have some Mickey housewares. So first we have these Mickey like oven mitts or you know to pull things out without burning your hands so very thoughtful love it it looks like I'm about to punch somebody but no I'm I'm not in the mood to fight today then this is a whisk that's the name of this kitchen product a whisk with uh, Mickey at the top there so super cute whisk 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 <laughs> next up here are some little things so I have this little Mickey Dorable from my advent calendar this past December. Super cute. And then I have this I'm celebrating being vaccinated button. I got this from a small shop that I believe is no longer in business, but I believe it was Clubhouse um, Buttons. And I got this because I was able to schedule a trip to go in 2021. And that's kind of how I celebrated being vaccinated because that's how I felt safe going during that time. And then I have two Mickey Mouse plush. Again, this does not include Christmas stuff. Otherwise I have more because this is not including my Santa Mickey or whatnot. But I have this uh, Mickey the main attraction 
and this is him as It's a Small World. I saw this at Burlington. I would not have bought it at full price or regular price, um, but I thought this was really cute and Small World is one of my favorite rides. And so I got this for $12.99 as opposed to like $29.99, so can't complain. We're such good models. And then we have Birthday Mickey. I love Birthday Mickey. Oh, I love this guy. He is so great. And I actually got him in my birthday month. I didn't get him for my birthday necessarily, but I he was at um, Cast Connection in August of 2019, just after my birthday. And I got him for a great price. I can't remember what that is right now. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really cute to see him. He was there discounted. Um, during my birth month and so I was like yay happy birthday to me and I love pulling him out during the month of August and being like happy birthday me thanks birthday Mickey you the best high five high five <laughs> and now we have the pins so I'm gonna cut to show you guys all of my Mickey themed pins so I have a few pins that are not with my Mickey Mouse pin collection they're with other ones so this is my Star Wars pin collection and this one is a Star Wars weekend pin uh, Disney MJM Studios May 2001 so this actually might be one of the oldest pins I have um but it is Sorcerer Mickey being projected uh, kind of like Leia so we have that one then on my Disney College program lanyard these are just pins that meant a lot to me during my program or from particular instances on my program we have the Christmas Day 2019 pin with Mickey giving a present to Pluto. And I got that one because I did work on Christmas Day and I did spend Christmas Day in Disney World that year. And then we also have Happy New Year 2020, which I also worked that night on Glow. What a good time. Um, but those are the ones that have Mickey on them. And then here is the board that has my Mickey pins. So we'll just show the ones that apply to Mickey. But we got the cola and then that beautiful star. Love the aviator shades, he looks so cool in that one. Love the love letters one. This American Idol pin is so cool, I love it. I'm so glad I got it. Then we have this Disney at Home, Downtown Disney Marketplace before it was renamed in Florida to Disney Springs. And then we also have this stamp friendship one. And then up here we have a stamp. You had to purchase a gift card to get this one, I do not believe. And um, this is Pluto and Mickey, and Pluto is a snowman. But those are all of my Mickey pins. This is kind of like Mickey and Friends part of the board, so those are all the ones that involve Mickey. And that, I believe, is most. We're missing a few things, just because I'm like, this is already a lot, and I just do not want to pull my Christmas stuff out of storage because I just put it back in there. And uh, yeah. But this is like, what, 90% of my Mickey Mouse collection. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below what was your favorite item or what thing are you kind of surprised that I own. I would be curious to know. But be sure to check out all of the other participants in this collab, see what they did. You can check out their videos. Their links to their channels will be in the description box below. And thank you, Ben and Danielle, again for hosting these. These are so much fun, and I just really appreciate being a part of them. So, yay! If you want even more of my shenanigans, you can find me over on Instagram at louisa.ruby and on TikTok at wheezequeen3. But that is going to be all for today. I will see you guys again soon with a brand new video. Bye. See you later, pals.